So if there was ever a sign from the fish gods, you know, to go try to do battle with a striped bass, okay, it's this guy right here. All right, take a look at this guy. Damn, yeah, he's got the biking helmet. He's got like pool noodles on like the back of his bike, yo. He's, he's a savage. He just made an illegal turn, like so illegal. That's my boy right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. We're gonna try to catch bluefish. Bluefish is the target species we're fishing. Back bays. Throwing a one and a half ounce bucktail, which might be overkill. Pretty shallow water here. Might might put on a uh, SP minnow or something here. If this bucktail, it's gonna be too. That might have been a bite right there. This bucktail is gonna be too heavy. That might have been a bite, but it might have been bottom. It was something. Still got our tail, so might not have been anything. Hopefully we catch him. I mean, bluefish shouldn't be too hard to find, you know, but they kind of are. You really gotta be at the right place at the right time. We hooked up, literally first cast with a uh, metal, which like, I threw top water, a bucktail, SP minnow, stick shad, you know. I was going back and forth between all those lures, and then I throw just like the oldest bluefish lure in the book, like just a metal jig. It's like a one ounce cast master. Hooked up on what seems to be a nice bluefish. It's definitely a nice one. Unless it's snagged. Damn, first cast on the frickin' metal. Oh, nice one. Damn. Wow. Oldest lore in the book. Let's get him up on shore. There he is. Yeah, that's a good bluefish there. We're gonna go ahead and unhook them. Definitely gotta be careful handling these blues. They're gonna try to bite you. Getting fingers dangerously close to the mouth. That's what it's all about, just danger. All right. Yeah, that's a good, good fish there. We're gonna let him go. Thanks, bluefish. First one's the hardest. First cast with the metal. Of all the lures I threw. The old cast master got him. Alright, well that was first cast with this cast master. Pretty sure it's a one ounce. And uh, either the blues just moved in or they are like a little far out of range. I don't know. Or they want the cast master, you know, something. Something like that. But I don't know, I threw this Castmaster a little bit uh, like the other day when I was blue fishing. I was getting the blues pretty good on a bucktail and I couldn't get bit on anything other than a bucktail. And I tried this Castmaster and could not get a bite on it, oddly enough, so I don't know. Every day is different, but this thing definitely casts pretty far, probably further than uh, any other lure I threw, so that could be that could be something, something to do with it. Just gonna let it sink for like a second and then like start. Just basically a straight, slow retrieve. All right, second one on the Castmaster, much smaller. Probably a good one to keep. This is probably what was hitting my SP minute. It was like littler, smaller blue. Look at that guy. Crazy, you kind of get this like big variation of sizes. Catch like 10 pounder and then you catch two pounder. And uh, they all kind of run in the same crowd. Get your pliers. These bluefish are definitely 
the fish you're going to need pliers for. They are toothy. They like to bite back. All right, we'll let him go. All right, now we're catching some fish on the oldest lure in the book. Yeah, I, I imagine that's what I was missing on uh, the SP Meadow. It's like smaller blues like that. Uh, this rod that I'm using, you've probably seen more of my videos. The Jiggin' World Shadow Surf Rod, 10 foot, medium heavy. It's a two piece rod. It's got those grips. So here goes the 6000. Said in a bunch of videos, you know, I like this rod. I've used it a lot, a lot, a lot. From everything from flathead fishing to chunking for stripers to plugging for stripers musky fishing and then here we are on sod banks you know casting metals can't go wrong albies all of that yeah it's just, it's a good rod Kind of like it when the fishing is like a little slower like this versus like on fire you know if you're catching bluefish every cast it gets kind of old but when you're picking them i don't know each fish just feels a little better that's one that's a good keeper size right there probably six pounder on the metal still hey yeah like five pounder, I don't know. Spring bluefish. Yeah, that's that's what we're looking for for uh, for food wise. That's good. That's a good keeper. So we're gonna try to dispatch them and then try to keep them roped up in the water. That's what we're gonna do. All right. If you harvest bluefish side banks you might know that it's hard to, it's hard to knock them on the head and knock them out when you're trying to slam them against the sod bank they, uh, you got to smack them against the sod bank a lot you know it's not like a rock where you can take like one good whack to the head's gonna finish them off no you need to you need to smack them against the ground like 10 times because the sods are kind of soft but yeah, we dispatched him. Uh, we're just gonna leave him on the bank for a minute, a few minutes, make sure he's like dead before we rope him up and leave him in the water. We're gonna rope him up, leave him in the water. That's gonna keep him fresh. You know, if we leave him out in the sun, he's gonna spoil. And that ain't right. You don't want your bluefish to spoil. Wind is kind of coming around from the southeast now. A little more southeasterly. All kinds of weird wind today. There's a blue fish. That's a little one. He was out far. Something feels weird about this one. I think he's just like very barely hooked. I can feel my spoon like zipping all around. Uh, yeah, that'll make it feel weird. Oh yeah. Huh. Ain't no ten pounder. We'll let him go, and we will try for another. fish good keeper size three pounder oh yeah he's bleeding anyway so definitely a keeper definitely hooked in the gill mortally mortally hooked you 
will not go to waste. Yeah. I'm gonna just try to stick shed and SP Minnow. And I went back to the cast master and hooked up. I don't know. They're hitting the cast master. That's about all they're hitting. That's a better one. The bluefish are in the house. Let's see what we got here. It's a little better bluefish. There's a six pounder. Come on up here, bud. That's a keeper. Good eater size. 28 inches or so. give this fish a quick measurement he's about the same size as this one this one's dead let's measure this one let's just see this other thing was uh, less than two bucks at Walmart I needed a tape measure the other night and everything was closed Walmart had it yeah that fish goes about about 28 inches that one's about the same good eater size they are liking the cast master Right now, Castmaster or bust, that's really, really what's working. There we go, that's a nice one. Oh, the Castmaster, quick bite. That one feels pretty nice. He's running me down here to the right, so. Oh, you son of a bitch. Popped off. He was like a 10 pounder. Son of a bitch. Hopefully there's a pod of them out there. He hit hard. And then we lost him. There's another. That one's not as big, I don't think. Castmaster is where it's at. I'm kind of getting tired here. I've only caught like six. That's a good sized blue fish. <laughs> Skipping them. Popping them off, he popped off. Stick that rope right through their gill, out their mouth. And then on the other side of the rope, tie yourself a nice little knot. Then you've got yourself a nice little stringer. And we're just gonna leave him right there. Keep him fresh. We're probably gonna stay here another hour or two before uh, we're gonna go try to catch stripers off the beach. But yeah, we're just gonna leave them there. This, uh, these are jaw spreaders. And I'm just gonna kinda shove them into the sod bank. That way. We can rope up these fish. That way they don't drift off. Yep, all right, they ain't going anywhere. Tide's moving pretty good now. These fish should be moving through a pretty good clip. We're just staying in the same spot, let these fish kind of swim past us. They're probably all up and down this channel. All up and down the bay here. And just gonna be moving with the tide. That was a good bite. Oh, oh, you know what came back? There he is. Oh. Nice bluefish. Yeah, that's a bigger one. Nice one. He ain't gonna give up that easy. That's 
That's a good one. Hey. Let's take a picture of him. It's kind of barely hooked. Just gonna watch our fingers. All right. Let's just measure them real quick while we got them sitting here. like 33 on oh, maybe it was a little 33 inch letting him go that's a good fish that's what we come down here for these nice blues damn there it goes they like this cast master man jam all right the blue fish the blue fish are getting iced down right, you definitely want to ice your blue fish like as soon as possible you know you don't want to let them go to waste so these things these things are not bad to eat you just gotta take care of them all right that's looking good 